Hello and welcome to this video about how to use Oracle Content Management in conjunction with Oracle Digital Assistant to build a chatbot powered by Oracle Content Management as a headless CMS. My name is Karthik and let's get started with this video. The very first thing we are going to do is to clone the OZ integration samples repository that is available on GitHub. Let's go ahead and clone the repository into our desired folder and change directories to go into the OC ODA chatbot sample directory. There are two versions to the sample, headless sample and OCM site integration. I'm going to show you the headless sample in this video. So let's go to the headless chatbot sample directory. Before we get to running our chatbot sample, we must download the ODA web SDK. To get that, first click on the OC ODA chatbot sample and then headless chatbot sample. We can click on this link here and download the latest version of Oracle Native Client Web SDK. I already have it downloaded and unzipped. So I'll copy the web sdk.js file from the native client sdk.js folder. Let's open the headless chatbot sample folder and paste the web sdk.js file inside the scripts folder in web app. Now we have all the components that we need to set up our own chatbot sample. Now let's open this project folder in a code editor like Visual Studio or Atom or any other ID to work with this project. I'm using Visual Studio code. Within our directory structure, we have three folders. The ODA chatbot folder is a Oracle digital assistant skill that helps to define the chatbot behavior and dialog flow you have to zip the contents of this folder and import that zip on your ODA instance in the skills section to set up your skill. We already have it set up on our instance. The skills enablement custom component folder contains the services that our ODA chatbot skill uses to make API calls to the content repository. We will look at this folder in more detail later in the video. The web app folder has a simple web application. Inside this, under the scripts folder, we have the web sdk.js and the settings.js files. The web sdk connects to the Oracle chat server, which stands between Oracle Digital Assistant and the skill. The chat server passes messages to the skill for processing and delivers the skills response to the client. The settings.js file has all the settings for our chatbot. The chatbot skill is hosted on an ODA instance and available on the web through an ODA Oracle web channel. If you open the index.html file, you will notice these two lines under the scripts tag. They bring the chatbot on our web page. Let's go ahead and open the index.html file in a browser window and see our chatbot in action. As you can see, this is the landing page for our headless ODA chatbot sample. It has some instructions on how to use the chatbot and on the right hand side, we have the chatbot window. This sales enablement chatbot enables the user to find the announcements and stories of various sales material for a fictitious coffee shop through a friendly conversational experience. Upon startup, the bot shows you a welcome message and how to get started. The user can find stories by typing a query like I want to see funding solutions. This fetches all the stories for category funding solutions from the content repository. The chatbot also has support for audio input and output. If I click on this mic and show me cafe sales play, it brings up the relevant stories. You can see more stories by selecting show more or start a new query using find something else. The sales material is organized under different menu pages. The user can ask the bot to show the contents under a specific menu item and select the desired story category. These menus, menu items and the dialog flow have all been defined in the ODA chatbot skill. Now let's go to our ODA instance and take a look at our chatbot skill. 
This ODA chatbot skill helps the user in finding appropriate sales enablement announcements and stories through a combination of text messages and simple UI elements. Our chatbot skill has two intents, greetings and story intent. Depending on the resolved intent, the chatbot responds with certain messages or actions defined in our dialog flow. Next, let's have a look at the entities. Menu bag is a composite bag of entities and has the home menu, learning menu, cafe supremo menu, and selling menu entities for respective menus. All other entities are value lists that have value and their synonyms. The values in these menu and story category entities corresponds to the taxonomy category values that are defined on the Oracle content management. Next, we have the dialog flow which describes how the skill responds and behaves according to the user input with the help of different components and states. The get user intent state tries to resolve the user's intent based on the received query. Depending on the intent and entity that is resolved here, the chatbot then jumps to a specific state. The main menu state shows the top level menu items. The show submenu state is resolved when the user input implies that they want to look into a specific submenu. If the resolved entity has a category value, it is passed to the custom component to fetch content items from the content repository in the retrieve story state. And the display story state shows the content items to the user in form of cards. The unresolved state executes when a user intent could not be resolved. Before we look at the component section of our skill, we have to go back to our code and take a look at the sales enablement custom component. Notice that within this directory, we have the package.json file along with some JavaScript files in the components folder. Let's go ahead and take a look at the server config utils file. Oracle Content Management makes available a content SDK for anyone who wants to build a headless application to use in conjunction with their specific application framework. In this file, we are instantiating a delivery client. This delivery client allows us to access the content repository directly from our chatbot application. Here you can see we are using the credentials of our Oracle Content Management instance and publishing channel. This is an Oracle Content Server which is already set up for us. One of the most important things here is the channel token that is used by this custom component to authenticate into our Oracle Content Management instance and access the content that lies there. And here we are passing these configurations to the create delivery client method to instantiate the delivery client. Next, let's look at the services.js file. Within the services.js file, you will notice that we have defined a few functions. Some of these functions are using the delivery client methods to fetch content from our Oracle Content Management repository. For example, this retrieve media URL function is using the delivery client to acquire images or videos directly from the content repository. And if you look at the fetch items for category name function, it queries all the content items of a C2 story content type belonging to the specified category. The delivery client of the content SDK is a useful way to access a lot of these methods that can be packaged together to create a query service. And then we have the sales enablement custom component.js file, which uses the delivery client and get story data function from the services.js. This is the code that gets the category value from the ODA skill into the item category variable. This is now used to get a response from the content repository through the custom functions defined in the services.js. Now let's have a look at how you can pack this ODA custom component and use it as a part of your skill. First, we need to install all the dependencies using npm install. Now we have to pack this component using bots node SDK pack to create a tarball file. Now 
we can create a custom component service in the component section of our ODA scale and upload this tarball file there. Once we have finished setting up our skill and the custom component, we can make the skill available over the web using an ODA Oracle web channel. Now that we have looked at the code, let's revisit our chatbot application. When we launch our chatbot, the greetings intent get resolved and the chatbot responds with this welcome message. When we write, I want to see funding solutions, the story intent is resolved and the skill extracts the funding solution category value. Using this taxonomy category, the custom component fetches the story items from the asset repository with the help of content SDK. That's it. Go ahead and have fun building your own chatbot application with Oracle Content Management. For more information, you can check out our tutorial for the headless ODA chatbot in the documentation. Thank you very much for watching this video.